Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And today I'm back with both Another Day of Grinchmas and also New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Yes. So I believe today is Grinchmas Day 14. I believe if, if all if all goes well. And uh, if you are new here and you haven't been here for a new Makeup Nonsense Bingo, this is a, a recurring series that I do in collaboration with Teresa. Teresa is dead, dear friend, sweet angel, baby, pumpkin, cheesecake, foul mouth, amazing human being. Um, yeah, if you don't know Teresa, I will have her information and her video listed in the description box. Uh, but if you are over here from Teresa, thank you for coming over. Say hi in the comments. I always like to see, like, you know, who who who's new or who came over specifically from someone else. So New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is one part drinking game, one part bingo game, one part will I buy it, one part anti-haul. So we go through, Teresa and I, we have the same collection of products that we might be talking about, but we use a randomizer to pick what we're gonna talk about. And basically we go through and talk about products until we hit bingo on the bingo card. We also drink, we drink when we get a spot on the card or we just drink when we wanna drink. I have ciders tonight. So I'm gonna crack open my first cider and we will get going. Also, if you are a creator or you just wanna play along at home, we do have the bingo cards linked in the description box and we have hashtags you can use and a community playlist that we can add your video to, or I can add it to the playlist. Just send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter. Um, and if you enjoy these videos and you wanna see more New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, you can go watch the whole playlist. There's there's lots there for you. If you don't know what Grinchmas is, I am uploading or doing a live stream every single day of December at least through Christmas, perhaps through the whole month. And we're just doing makeup and commentary and silliness and favorites and fails and all kinds of good stuff. If you like colorful makeup, if you like lots of opinions, if you like cute fat bitches, cute fat babes, whatever you wanna call us, uh, you should go ahead and subscribe because I think I'm a good time. Now, quickly, I'm going to show you all of the releases we could be talking about today. It'll just run through on the screen. You can get a sense of what I may or may not have the opportunity to roast or talk about wanting. Now the very first release that came up is from a brand we are all familiar with, ColourPop. Now ColourPop has released their uh, um, Super Shock Eye Duo called Forens Forever. Uh, one color is named Good Boy and one color is named Feline Good. Every year ColourPop um, does a, a release partnered with uh, No Kill LA, a shelter, an animal shelter. I don't know what the oh all net profits will be do, will be donated to Best Friends Animal Society dedicated to the ending of killing dogs and cats in American shelters. I mean, I do think it's a cute like a, it's a it's a cute cause um and it's $10 so you know, you could feel good about spending like $10 and technically having it go towards something nice but it's really it's it's a it's like a pearly and a champagne taupey super shock shadow and i feel like if you don't have that in your collection currently you don't want it you might have had it and gotten rid of it or you have it in powder shadows or liquid shadows or whatever like i said it's cute it's very like eh, okay 
it's very like friendly to lots of people which would encourage lots of people to buy it since it's for a good cause but I just I'm good if I want to donate my money I'm gonna donate my money and if I want to buy makeup I'm gonna buy makeup but no hate or anything for anyone that wants to buy it um it's just obviously not for me but this is also you know a color pop release so we're getting the center spot on the bingo card all squared away so next up is a collage of holiday releases from glam light so we have the pie eyeshadow palette that's 25 dollars and has 10 shades we have the candy cane blush duo brush trio sorry the candy cane brush trio the cookies and milk loose highlighter the red velvet liquid lipstick the eggnog lip gloss the pecan lip gloss or pecan whatever however you say it the glosses and the lip products are 12 to 14 dollars the loose highlighter is 14 the brush trio is 18 <clears throat> here's where i'm gonna say I don't think the pie fits in I actually think the little like candy cane brush trio is cute I feel like the loose highlighter I'm, I'm not loving I would have rather I don't know I think they could have done something better with the milk and cookies theme um, I think the the lip products kind of make sense but yeah I don't know one in every like 20 glam like releases really grabs me and really it was just the one ice cream palette release so this is it's just not doing anything for me even the the pie palette like the swatches are theoretically gorgeous but I don't want it um and it's another food themed makeup release okay this is funny and also kind of tempting y'all are probably gonna roast me so Trader Joe's has a 12 days of beauty advent calendar it includes 12 products and it's $20 the trend mood post reveals what's inside I don't know if I want to reveal that yet I'm gonna leave that secret if you want to go find it you can go on trend mood and find it I don't typically buy beauty products from Trader Joe's but I have picked up a couple of nice skincare products from Trader Joe's and I've heard their body products are nice which is why I'm I'm not totally against this yeah I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm sorry is that it's like I kind of am, am intrigued I'm kind of intrigued um, I'm a sucker for Trader Joe's uh, the like <laughs> there have been many downsides to the pandemic but one that has repeatedly made me feel something is like I, I, I don't go to Trader Joe's with the regularity that I t typically go um, meaning like I've been like two maybe three times this year and usually I go probably about once a month um, I might have to actively make a trip like plan a trip before the holidays and that might come home with me we'll see I might spoil it for myself and look at what's inside but I am tempted I know I know I know $20 is not cheap but also it's not as overpriced as a lot of the advent calendars out there mm, we're <laughs> I'm calling that a holiday release and, and we're gonna move on so Midas cosmetics has released a new artistry palette artistry palette volume 2 I don't know if I ever saw volume 1 but this is a little six pan palette and it has like grungy mustard green browns wait mustard yellow browns and greens this is $16 there are a ton of Midas discount codes out there Teresa Audra Lacey Abby Amy plus many many other creators that I didn't list here so you can definitely get money off I am so like intrigued to see Midas do more of these like six pan palettes 
Unfortunately, when I see this swatched out, I do kind of feel like the colors are a little close. Like the two, there's two greens in there that swatch look very similar. Some of the browns look similar. So Midas, like, okay, I want to like love everything Midas has released, but I feel like there are just releases where they just kind of miss the mark. And I want them to hit the mark, but they're, they're not quite there yet. So it is a pretty grungy palette, but I don't know if it feels that unique to the market or even unique to their collection. Cause I know they have some like mustardy tones and browns and greens already in their collection. But I am gonna say that drunk me would buy it because if Midas was having a sale and I was just a little bit intoxicated, I would probably just throw it in the cart like I did with the Lemonade palette finally a couple months ago. So we have another six pan eyeshadow palette. This time it's another one from Juvia's Place. This is a, this is a collaboration with Yami and Jelena. Oh, I didn't scoot over. That's probably a little bit better. Apologies about that. So this six pan is in collaboration with Yami and Jelena. It includes La Mariposa eyeshadow palette or the butterfly. Um, there are six shades. One is a pressed glitter. The other five, there's like three mattes. So three mattes, two metallics, and a pressed glitter. And then there, it looks like there are some glosses. Yes, Island Mommy Gloss, a coral peach, and Yummy Yummy Gloss, a soft, high, glossy, shimmery, iridescent pink. Now, this is a cute collaboration. I like the idea of doing collaborations of the scale of like a six pan and two lip products. I think that you can like slowly build into your product offerings in terms of lip colors, formulas, little six pans. I just, if the brown had not been a brown and the glitter was not a gold glitter, basically if you had given me like this metallic blue and this metallic pink and then like even a metallic deeper purple and maybe like a matte i don't know a matte purple um even like a matte green is that weird i just don't love the fact that a third of it is more neutral when you have these gorgeous bright colors so it's not for me. Um, it is cute. It feels more spring than holiday right now. So I feel like they could have, they could have held onto this for like a month or two and released it like early new year when we're like itching for the warm weather. Whereas right now I just look at that and I'm like, yeah, that just feels out of place. So Juvia's is yet again releasing something that just doesn't really do it for me. Um, it's also pressed glitter and eyeshadow palette, so cheers. So we have another picture that's like a collage, but this, it's all new products at Ulta. So we have the Urban Decay Decades Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. They're $25 each, and there's four different palettes. There's the 70s Boogie, the 80s Pop Queen, the 90s 1993, and the um, OO Soundtrack. Soundtrack. Then there are the Smashbox Always On Cream Eyeshadows. They're $22. Blendable cream eyeshadows infused with primer gives saturated color and a satin finish. Bold and neutral colors. Mousse-like texture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Six pan palettes. They are a thing. They are happening right now. I don't want any of them. I mean, they've been happening for a little while. Nabla Cutie palettes have definitely, I feel like we're an introduction, but I, no one's quite doing, it's not quite for me. And it doesn't have to be for me. Totally doesn't need to be for me. I am a very specific kind of makeup lover. Um, yeah, I don't really want any of the Smashbox cream shadows either. The ochre color of course draws me in because yellow, but I definitely don't need it. And I feel like this Urban Decay theme, they could have smashed it. They could have like hit it out of the park. 
but I don't feel like they did outside of maybe 1993 but I wanted like all of them to feel that way and I feel like the packaging is kind of cute kind of but the rest uh, I don't know Urban Decay is just like it's a struggle I feel like Urban Decay is always a struggle and and I'm gonna be that person that says that I still want liquid eyeshadows to die so I'm calling the Smashbox release a product slash collab that will not die. In an unexpected event, we have a brand that does not feel behind the times. They feel fresh and new. Musee Beauty has released color wash and color sheen duos. So it looks like they have a cream blush and cream highlighter duos. I'm intrigued. I'm not at a point yet where I would like to buy these, but I see what you're doing, Musee Beauty. I, I see you. I see the aesthetic you're, you're tapping into. It makes sense. My main concern, so it looks like they released two of each color, so there's like a highlighting duo that's a little bit richer, has like a copper and a gold, and then one that's a little lighter. And then there's a blush duo that's like a brown and berry and one that's a more coral and maybe peachy brown. I can't quite tell. My main question would be like with their packaging, is it is it something that snaps closed or is it more like a cardboard compact that isn't that airtight because I'm curious to consider the like life the shelf life of a cream duo but for an indie brand that has done eyeshadows and lip products to like their next product their first cheek products to be cream like I said I see you Musee I see I see what you're doing I see that you have a target market in mind and you are doing things to attract those people to your brand. If I didn't already use that, I would probably put that under Drunk Me Would Buy It because again, there was a sale happening and I was a teensy bit intoxicated. I would be like, fuck it, I'm gonna try one of their cream products. Even though I haven't even tried any of their eyeshadows. Otherwise it doesn't fit on the card, so we'll just keep going. You ever see those brands? You're like, I see you. I'm curious. You're cute, but I don't trust you. Yeah, that's me with Trixie Cosmetics. So they have released a new Mod About You blush palette. It's three colors for $28, along with a Rocket Girl Sparklies, no, Rocket Girl Sprinkles, Fizz Sparkles, Mod About You Beanie, or a bundle for $42. So this is a blush, the blush palette is three colors. It looks like there's like a brighter orange, a more neutral warm toned orange, and then almost a highlighting color, like a metallic champagne pink <sighs> Trixie you confuse my brain like the packaging is like super cute and makes me think of like a toy aesthetic that I never had as a kid I'm a sucker for a blush and a heart shaped pan but I I just don't trust it I don't trust the quality I don't it looks it looks like almost just too young where I might feel like I'm buying kid makeup also I, I just this is a bundle deal no one wants if we don't want your sprinkles and your sparkles Trixie I just want your blush duo but you're gonna be like oh yeah you can get everything with like a six dollar discount for like the sprinkles and the sparkles and the blush 
I just want the blush duo. This is a bundle deal that no one wants. We just want the blushes. Maybe the beanie. If I wanted to rep your brand, the beanie is kind of cute. But I don't want to rep your brand. I just want to put blush all over my face. But also, I have plenty of blushes. I, 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 I'm intrigued. I would watch some reviews about this blush trio. Because I'm a sucker. Okay, we're gonna move on. I'm calling it a bundle of melon one so that my attachment to it might break away. Wait, wait a fucking minute. I was just talking about how that entire Trixie release felt like childhood kind of like regurgitated into a blush trio. And now you're telling me that the fucking Care Bears collaborated with a hair dye brand? What the fuck? So a brand called Insert Name Here has collaborated with Care Bears for a vegan, limited edition, semi-permanent hair colors, fun, nourishing, and vibrant in five colors that are carefully formulated to color and condition your hair. Love a lot bear, grumpy bear, share bear, fun size, fun shine bear, and wish bear. First of all, limited edition hair colors? That's stupid. You're setting somebody up to fall in love with a color for their hair and then not be able to get it again. But also, like, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like the... I don't like the kitty collaborations. I just, it just, mm, I don't know why it just feels wrong. It just feels weird. It feels weird in a way that I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. Yeah. Also, it's a collab with somebody definitely not known for their makeup, so... I'm just gonna give it that spot on the board and not think about it too much harder because my brain might be hurting just a little bit. So next up, this is, I don't know if I, is this unexpected? This is unexpected to me. Um, Milani has released a whole new primer collection. There's Chill Out, Bright Side, uh, SBF BFF, skin quench and no pore zone so the chill out is soothing with wild oat and marshmallow root extract and ceramides cer ceramides the bright side is illuminating with vitamin c pro vitamin b5 and jojoba oil the spf bff is a protecting spf 30 with vitamin e and glycerin the squin qu the squin quench the skin quench hydrating hyaluronic acid coconut water and the no pore zone is mattifying with lily and bamboo extracts so the interesting thing about seeing a brand seeing a drugstore brand do a primer release while i know milani has already been doing some skincare stuff like they did a they've done a cleansing balm and some things like that seeing them venture into these kinds of primers or this like primer release because i know they've done primers before but this i think it's the styling of it and the display it makes me think skincare it makes me think of more skincare releases because depending on the state of your skin day to day week to week month to month you could theoretically buy every single one of those primers where you might not buy multiple foundations or multiple other like basic item. So there's something about Milani doing these primers that makes me think of them continuing to like play in this kind of skincare zone, especially when they're talking about SPF, when they're talking about hyaluronic acid, like vitamin C. I I see you, Milani. Wow, that was a terrible pun. I am shaming myself into drinking more because that was a terrible, terrible pun. And that's kind of 
kind of gross. That cider is not very good, but we're going to keep drinking. Ooh. So ColourPop is back with same shit, new packaging. But ColourPop has released a new nine pan palette called Big Poppy, P-O-P-P-Y, like the flower. Um, and then two blushes, lippy pencils, lippy sticks. It's interesting that they're going back to these formulas or these formats when they've been doing all of the glosses and all of the the luxe lipsticks and all of this stuff yeah um so this is a matte nine pan palette that is poppy inspired although i don't know flowers exactly but when i think poppies i think of like red like that orange red like in your face color this is all very orange it's just you can't tell me they haven't had lippy sticks or lippy pencils in those colors before you can't tell me they haven't had matte shadows out in these colors before just none of this feels incredibly inspired none of this feels exciting it's the same shit different packaging it's color pop doing yet another release at least one a week and i just don't give a fuck in the biggest example of la audacia i don't know why i had to say that but the audacity the audacity of charlotte tilbury <sighs> charlotte tilbury has released the magic lip oil crystal elixir two colors of a crystal infused tinted lip oil enriched with potent plum effect and ingredients to hydrate smooth enhance your lips forty dollars for a lip oil there are a number of things that i would spend high-end money on lipsticks are absolutely one of them I could see myself falling for a Charlotte lipstick I have fallen for Lisa Eldridge lipsticks I could see it happening with Gucci perhaps I could see it happening but a lip oil you can fuck all the way off with a $40 lip oil it is yet another lip gloss and it's not going to do any fucking thing special for your lips okay let us appreciate a brand that i love and adore lethal cosmetics lethal has released the new velvet dusk collection it is a 12 pan palette and they've also released four new shades of their gel pot eyeliners Oh, I love, okay, this was the packaging for the Lethal After Dark palette. I love the way they do these palette collections because it's basically just a magnetic palette and, and 12 singles or 9 singles depending on the collection. I think the Velvet Dusk palette is black and the tones in the Velvet Dusk palette are all like kind of grungy i feel this like resurgence of subculture coming out like the midas collection that's come out the at forest site from chris from robbie d christine color pop this this lethal palette like i see the like the teal the mustard the grungy greens the pop of coral i don't think every single color in the palette is like excitable for me because uh, there's browns and things but you know i'm a whore for lethal truly everything lethal comes out with i'm just like fuck me up so the other thing about this collection there are two shimmers in there that they are calling triochromes now the reviews make me feel like perhaps they're not as dimensional as as you might hope they would be i'm still intrigued by them but i do 
I want Lethal to keep pushing forward with their their shimmer, duochrome, multi-chrome, triochrome formulas. For now, I'm gonna wistfully wait for the palette, and I think, I think I, oh yeah, I re that's where it all stemmed from. We were doing a group order, and I was like, I want the mustard liner, and then it turned into, I'm getting that in the palette. So, you know, I'm excited, but I'm patiently waiting, but I'm excited. I just get excited by most of their releases, if I'm being honest. So, I am excited to see Lethal do these grungy liner colors and keep like expanding in their green and yellow color family. Um, I don't truly think this is a real palette with multi-chromes. I'm gonna say that, or triochromes. I think the shimmers are more duochromatic than anything, but I'm gonna be a little sneaky bastard and call this all the multi-chromes because why not? Okay. Glossier. Glossier, let's talk. I, I just I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Let's let's just let's let's talk. Come come here. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm 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 a cider and a half in, and 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 I'm pretty much three sheets to the wind. This Glossier Holiday Collection. If I ever did see a motherfucking catfish, it would be this. Because I saw this packaging. I saw the card box. I saw the, the pale pink and gold detailing and the pattern work. I saw that and I was like, what the fuck is Glossier doing? Because that looks really pretty. Because I'm a sucker for gold. And when you pair it with pink, I'm just like... Here's my money, take it. Take it before I regret it. Then I realized just how fucking terrible these gift sets were. There's the bomb.com roulette. It's three supply, it's three surprise flavors for $30. It's a bomb.com in mystery combination of flavors in a gold embossed deck of cards inspired pack. That first of all felt like a catfish or a big trick because you have no idea if you're getting sense that you hate things you might be allergic to. Like maybe give me a range of options. Be like, you know, you could get three of any of these 10 flavors and then we would at least know. So if you're like, oh fuck, I'm allergic to this, I won't even buy it for chance. But then, then there is the gold kit. So in this, for $75, you get a lip gloss and then a necklace. But the thing that makes me go, what the fuck, is that the necklace is the goddamn Glossier logo. You are spending $75 for a lip gloss and for jewelry to represent a brand. There is no fucking way. There is no way. There is no way I'm giving you $75 for a piece of jewelry to represent your brand. I've never been that kind of person. I've never been a give me a Chanel logo, give me a Tiffany logo, give me a this or that to wear. But in particular, not even a brand that makes jewelry. A fucking skincare and makeup brand. 
why am I wearing a Glossier logo around my neck? Am I in the cult of Glossier? Did you brand my private parts with your G so that nobody else could ever marry me or date me like the fucking dream? If you don't know that cult podcast, you should listen to it because that just sounded really fucking weird if you don't know the reference point. Why? Why would I rock a Glossier G around my neck for 75 goddamn dollars? That is like the ultimate, it, I know I'm really hard on Glossier, but that feels like an ultimate example of like capitalistic bullshit translated into a gift. Mm -mm. No. No. And you know why I'm calling this a catfish? Because Glossier has presented it so gorgeously, so interesting that you're like, ooh, what is this pink and gold packaging? What is this deck of cards? What is this, what is this gift packaging? And then you realize, oh, that's me wearing the Glossier logo as a piece of jewelry. And I'm supposed to, am I supposed to be excited about that? Explain that to me, please. Someone kindly explain. You know what? It's actually, it's okay. You don't need to explain it. Because it's not going to make a difference either way. I don't want it. I think it's a huge waste of money. I think it's an absolute fucking trick. And, uh... I really hope I am. I just, you know what? I hope I don't cross paths when it's with anybody that ever is rocking a glossy AG necklace because then I might have to uh, rethink my life as a whole. On that very enraged note, I have hit bingo. We can all celebrate together that this drunken bitch that's raging about fucking capitalism has hit bingo. The rage will stop for now. For now. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of my rage, more rage against capitalism, more rage against makeup brands, more rage against miscellany miscellaneous more rage against miscellaneous topics you should go ahead and subscribe if you haven't seen Teresa's video definitely click the link in the description box and go watch uh, I fucking love you Teresa and I appreciate you for always doing these clouds with me and keeping me on top of my shit cause you're always like hey let's do this thing and I'm like yes Sounds good. Sounds good on the calendar. We could do this. Um, if you are enjoying Grinchmas, or if you if you're new to Grinchmas, go to subscribe, like the video, perhaps share it out with your friends, and come back tomorrow for another uh, exciting video. Question mark. I don't know what that means. I just know I'm very excited. Thank you so much to my patrons and my YouTube members. If you were interested in finding out more about my Patreon or my membership, I have all the information in the description box. I appreciate everyone's support. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, whatever you can do or want to do, watching the video, sharing it with friends, becoming a patron, following me on Twitter or Instagram. All of these things are so, so appreciated. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for spending some drunken time with me while I scream about makeup and capitalism. And hopefully I will see you again real soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Please take care of yourself. Wear a damn mask. Drink some water. Eat some food. Especially if you're drunk and me sitting here trying to do your outro. Hopefully I will see you again real soon. Bye friends.